Hi guys, today we're gonna fly my first FPV drone. So stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dasar and if this is your first time on my channel, this is a channel all about cinematography, photography, and we do a lot of other stuff as well. Today's topic, by the way, is about one of the things that I've been mentioning on my channel uh, in my previous videos, FPV drone. If you guys follow, been following me for a long time, you know that, you know, I love drones and, you know, I own a Mavic 2 Pro and I use that for all of my gigs. A lot of uh, you know videos that I created, I've been using that for a long time. But I started looking into FPV drones, and you know I was building one as I mentioned. So what happened was the build was complete, uh, and I decided to take it out for a spin, and this is what happened. <laughs> Okay, that didn't go too well. So, FPV drones are definitely not like your regular DJI Mavic Air, Mavic Air 2, Mavic 2 Pro drones. They don't hover. You have complete control over the sticks and it's pretty much like flying a helicopter or like an airplane. So, you know, you, you cannot make drastic movement. And if you do something, you have to correct it right away so that you can, you know, maintain that altitude and you know obviously how you fly your yaw you know roll pitch all the axes you have all manual control on it as you can clearly see you know i'm definitely not close to it and i thought that i'm a decent you know uh, drone pilot because been flying mavic drone for you know a long time but this is a completely different ball game so i decided to go, to go back and started practicing in liftoff this is a simulator where you can fly drones, FPV drones, pretty much close to the real experience that you get from FPV. And, you know, this is what happened after a few days of practicing. So let me show you another video. So as you can see, I got a little bit better by flying the drone in the simulator and when I went out for the actual run the second time around, it wasn't that bad. And I was able to actually actually fly this thing again, not at the level where I want to be at, but still I was able to, you know, fly and, you know, uh, at least had some fun with it. So with this hobby, definitely you're going to require this tool, this a soldering tool, because you're going to be breaking things frequently especially when you're learning. So definitely order some extra parts if you're building yourself a drone like this and you know, flight controllers, 
I got extra props as well. And you know, after the crash, you can see it's still like in perfect shape, nothing broke. So in my experience, like FPV hobby can be a little overwhelming. So I started with some basic setup. Uh, this is an example of the setup that I'm using right now. I'm gonna start going over with the QX7 Tyrannus radio that I'm using. So it's a very good radio and again it's not like you know uh, a basic one it's like you can say you know somewhere in the middle and it's gonna cost you around 95 to 100 bucks gives you all the features that you need when you're starting this hobby. So for my first person view or perspective I am using Fat Charts Scout box goggles again like uh, you know they're on the heavy side and you know there are better options out there but it's gonna cost you a little bit more. So they have another version I think it's called Attitude V5 with proper goggles and you know, I'm looking to upgrade to that at some point in the future. So again if you're just starting out you know this is a good option it's around $200 and you know again you, you get like uh, a DVR option with that too so which means that you can record uh, you know the feed that you're receiving uh, from your you know drone camera as well. So for capturing the 4K footage, I'm using the GoPro Hero 7. Again, GoPros are very reliable cameras. They're really, really good. And I have a 3D printed GoPro mount on my drone. And I just put that on and, you know, it records the 4K footage. And, you know, you can slow it down too because GoPro gives you the option of shooting at high frame rates. So for my drone uh, itself, I'm using a Cadex Retail FPV camera. And, you know, the motors on it, you know, are these ones, Zing 4 uh, 1406 3600 kV motors uh, as I mentioned you know do order extra uh, motors when you are building this yourself I'm gonna leave the links to all the products that I'm using in the description down below so that you guys can also have a look at that uh, just to let you know there is another version that comes from iFlight it's fine to fly ready to go if you purchase all the parts that I just showed you you just need to get that drone from iFlight and you can bind it to your receiver and you're all set to go but again you know i would recommend uh that try to build it uh build your drone yourself so that if something breaks you know how to fix that and you know how how to basically troubleshoot also what played a big factor in my learning is you know one of the channels i'm gonna leave the link in the description down below joshua bardwell uh really really knows about fpv and i think he's a subject matter expert in this area so definitely check josh's channel out and if you have any issues with your fpv drone i'm sure that you'll find a solution by following or like watching one of his videos on another note when you're flying these things make sure that you're following the faa guideline these things are really really fast you don't want to fly over you know people you don't want to you know fly where you know uh, somebody's there try to find a big open field and try you, you your recreational flying you know in that kind of area and that kind of setting so that you don't you know damage anything or you know hurt anyone as well on that note i'm going to sign off and i'm going to leave you with some more flying that i've done and you know you, you can see that it's getting better but i need a lot of practice still and you know once i get better at this i'm definitely gonna build a five inch quad and you know can't wait to share my results with you guys as well if you like this video learn anything from it or like you know if you have any feedback don't forget to put your comments down below i also create like you know a lot of lightroom presets and lightroom editing videos if you're interested in that do check some of my other videos on this channel out and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video till then have a safe one and goodbye